You are on your own. The party has not decided on sharing formula, says APC Chairman Abdullahi Adamutu. The National Assembly leadership as the unveiled principal officers. Join us as we discuss this friction on our first hot topic on The Breakfast this morning. And as the federal government set to reduce importation of drugs from 60% to 40%, we'll be discussing with the president of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria this morning to get their pulse on this development. You also want to know which stories made it to the front pages of the dailies this morning. Join us on Off the Press. We we'll have an analyst dissect them one by one. Good morning and welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Maureen Meno Mwizigwe. Good to have you join us. Well, today we have lots of things lined up for you on the program and we'll start with our very first top trending. Okay, so court has ordered activists to pay Namdi Kanu's lawyers 5.5 million naira. And that's the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. It is the Entrepreneurial Thursday edition of The Breakfast, and we we'll go straight to the top trending. Court orders activists to pay Namdi Kanu's lawyers 5.5 million naira. And well, that's the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, which has ordered, uh, awarded a 5.5 million naira damages against a lawyer and executive director of due process advocate in Mecca, Ugonye. The court, in a judgment delivered by Justice Injideka Ngosu Iheme, ordered Ugonye to pay the money in favor of Ifanyi Ejiofo, counsel to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazin Namdikanu. Well, Justice Injideka Ngosi Heme also granted a perpetual injunction restraining the defendant, his agents, associates, privies, and or proxies, whoever called, from carrying out any libelous publication against AGFO. AGFO is an activist and a lawyer to the FCT High Court in Abuja, and he had originally demanded 5.1 billion naira for alleged defamatory publication. Well, the defendant was said to have published the defamation and circulated the third parties on the internet on February 5th, 2022, and continued to February 8, 2022. Ugonye had alleged that Ejiofo was facing serious investigation for fraud and forgery by the EFCC. Well, moving from that first top trending to our second top trending, Anambra student Ms. Selma has admitted that she scored 249 in UTME, a Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination uh, candidate there, uh, Ms. Selma uh, Injikeme. Uh, this has created ripples. Uh, well, she has allegedly admitted that she was graded to have scored 249 by the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board JAM and not 362. However, she admitted no fault for the error by the board system and feels the three-year ban imposed on her by the board is unfair. She claimed to have sent a single SMS to JAM through its support system but got no response after seeing a score of 249. Jam, in a statement by spokesman Dr. Fabian Benjamin on Sunday, accused the student of forging her result, but Ms. Oma stood her ground that she scored 362 out of the total mark of 400. But Benjamin revealed that Jam's record indicated that the candidate had sent a series of messages to the board's automated telecom system, including the results showing an aggregate of 362. 
Well, Jam subsequently slammed a three-year ban on Mesoma, but she argued that she ought not to be blamed for the controversy. Benjamin has described the result flaunted by Mesoma in a viral video as obsolete and stated that Jam stopped using the sleep with a student since 2021. That's a student's face, 2021. Well, this story has generated lots, lots of controversies, both home and abroad. Matter of fact, a Nigerian crypto businessman, uh, Gaius Chibwezi, has offered UK, US, and Canada scholarship to Mesoma Ejikeme. Uh, up to her master's level and is promising to sponsor her 100% take charge of her fees and her upkeep. And he also says it's an attack on the girl, and uh, not just the girl, but the entire Igbo race. Uh, he made this known via his Twitter handle. Also, Chief John Mary Akachuku has threatened to sue uh, Jam if the body does not apologize to Mesoma, whom he believes uh, has been failed by the jam, saying that they failed to discharge the Child Right Act by exposing her, uh, her identity in the course of all this. He has called for apology from jam. The National Assembly is set to investigate this, uh, probe this matter further. And then the former Minister for Education, Dr. Obi Eze Kwesili, has also called for independent investigation into this matter. So... It's an unfolding story. Nigerians, home and abroad, are totally uh, invested in it. Everyone is interested in it. But some have said this is much ado about nothing, really, because it's a little girl. Uh, what she's done, if at all she did it, is nothing compared to what the politicians have done and what they are doing. Those who have led to the deaths of countless, countless numbers of Nigerians on our roads because they siphoned the monies meant for fixing those roads. Those who carted away monies meant for fixing the hospitals. Those who stole oil money and that are responsible for the mess Nigeria is in right now. What she's done is nothing compared to it. But it's an unfolding story. We'll give you updates as these stories unfold. We'll be taking off the press in a moment with Mr. Ezekiel Anya, a talk public affairs analyst, who will be joining us from our choir room. Let's take a break and be back to see the headlines.